Hello everyone, Karen Cecilia here. I don't know anything about this thing that is going on with the IC and, and Dwayne Vaz. I really don't understand it, um, but I have a, a trust in the IC that they're not doing anything untoward and that they are not um, attacking anybody that, um, not, not, that, is, that is not deserving of, of attacking. But um, for some strange reason, I do believe that it's not just that. I think there is a political motivation behind this Dwayne Vaz thing. I think that Peter Bunting, Mark Golden, Dayton Campbell, that core group of Rise United movement, I think them still outplaying their 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 um, their, 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 their blueprint. I think them still in in the mix of them blueprint where they want to control the PMP seats them and anybody that is standing in their way, they're going to find ways and means to, to try and unseat them. And I thought I would say a few words to you all about my own thought process because when I check over in Westmoreland, Central Westmoreland, um, there's a something, something is amiss and my political instincts are very rarely wrong about these things, very rarely wrong, and if at all. And I suspect that they have reared their ugly heads again in terms of carrying out what their original blueprint agenda is, which is to control some PMP constituencies. They're targeting them. You know, they've been one Paulwell constituency. Paul is not out of the woods yet because I'm sure Paul Burke and Angela Brown Burke still over there trying to figure out if they can get somebody else killed for Paulwell name to call. I'm sure they're trying to figure out a way to mix him up again. I'm still, I'm sure they're still over there trying with the help of the councillor from the Norman Gardens Division um, to help them to try to see if they can unseat Paulwell. I am absolutely sure that's something going on. They're not just sitting down and, 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 and just think that because we'll lick them down and we'll lick them down bad, we'll lick down some of them flat, some of them have fever, some have heart failure, some have get constant headache. We'll lick them down. I will constantly let them down. But that don't mean that they have given up their Bunting's agenda. Bunting's lifelong ambition to become Prime Minister of Jamaica. I promised him father that, that he's going to be Prime Minister. Him father died and he wanted to keep that promise him father so he can go down to the graveyard and say, Daddy, see it? I made it. We did it. You know, something like that. <laughs> but jokes aside, when Dwayne Vaz got that Got, got got the nod as a candidate to go back go back or run in um, Central Westmoreland. An odd thing happened, very odd thing happened. But it wasn't. It's not so odd now, based on all the other things that happened afterwards. Hmm? And the odd thing was, the woman that Bunting and 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 Dayton them had hired, and yes, he and yes had something to do with that one. Not calling up him name, but he had something to do with this one. The woman that they hired, oh, she was pissed. She was royally pissed. She was out and about on social media, um, talking a lot of things. How disappointed she she is, and but saying it more, you know, you know, in a nasty way. Um, she was saying her nastiness. She's a nasty mouth woman, and she was saying that. The odd thing wasn't even that so much. The odd thing is that. After she said, she just disappear. She just disappear from the face of the earth. The resistance leaders them say, she um, she just kind of out of sight. Nobody can, nobody can see her. I tell them to keep their eyes peeled. Because as sure as night turns to day, she's going to surface again when Bunty need her to. And whenever he made one more of those Whenever he would make one more of those master strokes, then she would come in and fill in whatever blanks he need fill in down that end. I don't want any of you to be under any mistake about what these guys' agenda is. And we've been telling you for the for, for pretty close to four years now. And um, I don't know if there's anything else we can do or say to prove to you that these guys are up to no good and their one agenda is to control the PMP, which they don't control yet. They control the leadership. But based on the turnout 
of the low or the non-turnout of the base of the PMP at the February 26, 2024 local government elections, my guess is them don't control nothing. It's not a guess. It's a fact. They don't control a thing because they can't chat to the PMP people um, uh, um, at the base level. Just the other day, just the other day, um, um, one of my, my niece, who's a teacher, has a friend who lives abroad. And every time she comes from St. James down in Montego Bay, and every time she comes into the country, she, um, it seems like she always come in in the night. I don't even know what that is. Sounds like, oh yeah. So she comes in into the night every time she comes. And she stayed over. And she came the Friday night. And um, they went out. And you know, see them again. I actually never see them again till Sunday. Um, Sunday morning. And uh, no, that's not true. I saw them Saturday night. So I was sitting under the gazebo Saturday night. And um, she was sitting in one chair. And everybody was having them good, a good time and laughing and talking. Because it's a comfortable yard. And she said to me, Miss Cross, no take away the light, you know. No take away the light, man. You might not hear the word by nice, but trust me, you are rich people. You are rich people. You see, don't a man to go be a St. James, you are rich people. And it's not like I am full of shit or anything like that. And, uh, um, but she was not telling me anything that I don't already know. Just, just say, say that for a fact. But to actually hear her say it and the things that she went through, which I'm not going through now with you, and the things that she went through, sit, just, just, just sit down there. My sister tell her, say, stop, my sister, the part tell her, say, stop, swell up her head. Because she was just there talking about all that's happening, not only in St. James, but everywhere else. And she don't live in Jamaica, but she come regular. And this is where she stay, when she come for the weekend or a couple of days or something like that. And then she come out her business, where it is that she come for go, and then she come back and sleep and then eat and then yam and then drink. And then she, um, she fix her to the airport and she's off again or, or somebody pick her up, whatever. What The reason I'm telling you this is to say that our message is reaching the base of the PMP. Our message have gone far and wide and the PMP base is responding to our message. And the simple message is, you cannot reward a traitor. There's no way in history that you have seen where a traitor has ever been rewarded. And the greatest traitor of all was Judas when he betrayed the son of God. And he was not rewarded. Him go hang him damn self. That's, a, and that, that, that's basically the basis, the base argument of what we are saying to the PMP. The PMP base. So the PMP base know what they're doing. And they know what they're about. And they did not show up for Mark G on February 26, 2024. Because they know what them is about. They understand it. And they believe us. But you see, Uno MP in there, alone that was holding on to Mark Golin, can't remove the leader. The leader has to go to face the, 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 the voters. And um, it, it, it's too late. Well, we're not telling them to remove him. We'll never remove him, you know. We'll never remove him. We tell, we've been telling them to remove him. We never had a lot of opportunity to move him, but we never want to move him. We never want to move him because we alone have no own agenda grinding. But the PMP people them went deal with him in some ways. Eh? Mark my words, the PMP people them went deal with the all of uno some ways. So you see what happening now with Dwayne, Dwayne Vaz? That is a Peter Bunting masterstroke. That is Peter Bunting finding a more sophisticated way to get rid of Dwayne Vaz. That's him. It's all in fingerprints all over it. That's him. Them want back that seat. Them want that seat to give it to one of them rise candidates because them want to have the three Westmoreland seats. So them send Dayton and go and try to get um, Luther seat. You can only get Luther seat if Luther give him and Luther will never be the same again if, if Luther ever give him seat. And them have Ian in West, in West, in West, West, which I do believe him going to lose. Him now I hear that, but based on local government elections, um, I think that if the if the GLP ever decide to use um, what name the um, the former PMP councillor that just won again on the, on the GLP ticket, Miles, 
any of Mr. Hold is decide for you for use Miles or Mr. James. Yes, it's two of them. James and Miles. Any of Mr. Hold is decide to use one of them to challenge Ian Hills. I mean deep crap. I can't even tell you how deep that crap him would be in. But but St. James um Westmoreland is still very much um still somewhat um could be considered a PMP stronghold. So we will see how that work out. But I have no doubt in my mind that the forces at work right now on Dwayne Vaz are the rise leaders because they want that seat to give who I don't know yet. But they want that seat. They still want Powell's seat. They still want Natalie and Dennis them seat. And Dennis Garden, let me let me just say this. I'm not talking to Dennis Garden. Let me just say this. They want his central St. Andrew as well. They want it. And at the time that they might try to take it from him, at the time when they might make that move, it's going to be a time when Peter Phillips will have not, not have much say in the matter. At the time when they will do it, that Peter Phillips will not have, say, have any say in the matter, and, P and Peter Phillips might be sidelined in the matter. Them figuring out a way. Them figuring out a way to get to these things that they have not yet been able to get to because the resistance f up them plans so them figuring out ways to go ahead they are figuring out ways to go ahead in the meantime all i want to all i want to sit down there with them working with the leader we to work with the thing one leader at a time we are going to work with mark we don't like him we don't know with him but we are going to work with him um, they never do so bad in the local government election. Him fucking lose. They talking about never do so bad. Him lose. Him lose the local government election. No matter how no one spin it, we are spin it like gig. Him lose the local government election. And I might add that him lose a local government election, which is supposed to be a trial election for him, which he ran as a general election. We him got run around the country and tell people to vote out Brogan and vote against the wicked and heartless government. And if him couldn't carry that, let me, I'm going to sound like a scratch record. If him couldn't carry that for a little landslide victory, what the hell? What the hell? We're not going to work with him. Remember, you know, a lot of you came out and said, we're going, we're going to help a candidate. We're going to help. We're going to, go to help. We gotta do what we can. Yeah, I go to eight miles and I um, show a little strength to Bojo. But we want to go up there, go hug up Mark. I mean, I hug up Mark. We're going to go hug up Mark. We're going to work with the leader. We're going to make big statements. Well, we might not make it publicly, but we're going to declare, we're going to make declarations. All of you. And the reasons that all of you give is simple. Even those who were calling me, the argument was simple. Boy, Karen, you, the, the, the man, the, the man, the Andrew Woods, man, a wicked man. But if we get to that money, man, we could get in a poor money, we can deal with the Mark Golden issue. And every time one of them said that to me, I go back and look at which school they go. Because I'm, I'm, I'm confident that all of them went to good school. I mean, every time they say it, I go check out which school they go. Yeah? Just to remind myself that you don't actually go to school. Good school too. And learn. I want to come up with this full, full argument about, I could win first and then we see what we can do for them. I mean, they've never better to explain to you know, how stupid that sound. Because you know, must figure it out by now. And then there are those who just say we're going to support a party. No matter who the leaders were going to support a party. And there are those who were resisted and not resisted and more because they were going to support them party. But those, those never believe in nothing. And th those are the worst kind. Because they were pretending to believe in something and then they left and start doing something, in a, um, start believing in the thing that they first said they, were, they, they never believed in. And then they are, you, they are, there is those, the first set, who never really believe in anything at all except themselves and them own little power and whatever them can get, you know. That's what they believe in, and them city, and them can see the, the dollar sign and the, the world and the work and the and the rare flashing in front of them should Mark become prime minister. You don't have no idea what a disappointment you're setting yourself up to. Because I already said it, I'm going to repeat it. Should by some miracle, by some miracle, by some divine intervention, power and Peter in words, that Jesus Christ in heaven shall make the Jamaican people vote for Mark Golden and he become prime minister. Within the second day, 
the whole one would be shouting from the top of the lungs. Sure, no. We'd never know. See, I saw the thing. Say, boy, Karen, boy, me, me have to come look for you. Me, me can't actually see it in the bed. Can me come look for you because Jan you know, so the thing said. You don't think Andrew will this wicked? You don't really think that? I don't think my Andrew will this wicked. Not at all. I don't think Andrew will this wicked. I think he has done some things that really, really, uh, really galls people, gall me too. But I'd rather have him. That I know how he might deal and what he might do and how he might steer. We see him clear. We know what he is. I would rather have him than have Mark Golden lead this country. And I'm not saying that for me because I'm not getting nothing. I'm not looking at no dollar sign or no work. I'm unemployed. I'm not looking at nothing. The old, well, nothing for me personally. What I'm looking at is a simple thing. What is best for Jamaica? What is best for my grandson and his children that will come after my great grandchildren. The children that I raise, I make them life, I take them time, I go through life and I build them little life around them and I go on with them little things and them I succeed and them I prosper and them I go on. And then me I think about me I think about who up a pity them them a community where I run up and down or some of them parents run up and a foreign and I try to put two ends together to see if them can make the string them meet, to see if them can set them up and send for them. I look for my community. I look for my wider country. And I'm thinking to myself, no, Janu, after what we know about Mark Golden and his ancestors, I would not want the Jamaican people to hand this country over to him. And absolutely no condition. I'll do everything in my power to ensure that they don't. And Uno believe that all is well and things have settled down. It has not it never will. Who do not get it? Who do not a part of what they planning that they have always what they have already planned to do? But we have turned over the plan a little bit, a little bit. We turn over the plan a whole lot. But them reassessing and replanning around the same playbook, and who do not included in it? No, no, no. Just him and him friend Bunting. And I'm going to carry along the with him because him is them, him, him is them boy, him is the, the house slave, the one who them send out will take all the lick them and come back and master say never mind, never mind. Is it, it hot? And them lick him long. I'm coming and master say, them lick you, them lick your son. It hot? Huh? We shall then lick you. Show me, let me see it. We blow up on it. You get a boo boo. Let me blow up. Let me blow up your boo boo. Never mind. Now listen, why you go back down the so I'm going to lick you down again? Because I'm going to come off of me, so you have to go to go get a kind of lick. I take the next lick. And that's what dating is. Tell her this Angela Brownbrook have no part to play in them plan. None. No role. She has to let She has to India in a, in a mark orbit trying to carve out a little space for herself. But let's focus. As I said this already. But I always just go where it leads me. So let's focus. Them still after doing vows. They are. I don't believe they are 100% comfortable with Dr. Orton either. Them still going after Paul Well. And them still want Peter Phillips' seat. And Uno, I hug them up. I don't know what them telling them. I want to keep hugging them up. Because we're going to see how this is going to work out at some point. So Dwayne Vaz need to stop count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and start count 2 and 2 is 6. You need to skip over 4. Dwayne Vaz need to stay close to the PMPBs in Central Westmoreland and don't get distracted. And if you do something wrong, with the IC calling you out, go and fix it. Because I highly suspect, highly suspect. And when I, when, normally when I suspect something, within a couple of days I get the evidence of it. But I highly suspect that there is some political maneuvering and gamesmanship at play with this IC thing and doing VARS. And doing VARS is is an example of how Peter Bunting operate and Mark Golden, how them operate. They always go after a soft, 
a soft target first. That's where they go, to a soft target. And if they create enough um, smoke and mirrors for the soft target, it's easy for them to then just go in and lick it over and take control of, of, of Central Westmoreland. I would do know who the four newly elected councillors are. We don't know if them are risers. We don't know if them are authentic PMP. We don't know if them have doing back, doing back or them, going, them have a knife for putting them back. We don't know what. It's a very, very unstable situation in the Rise United camp. It's, it's unstable because we have done so much damage to them. It's unstable because them know that my eyes and my ears and my antennas are far and wide and they're not going to get much past me. It's unstable because I'm still looking for ways and means to F them all up, all of them, who will hug them up. And I soon come. Soon come, you know. I soon, I soon come. Because Uno MP that have been resisting removing Mark, yeah, man, soon come. Now I call on the name in this one. I'm soon come talk to the Jamaican people know who Uno is. All of Uno, who have been hugging up Mark and say, Uno, now nah, remove him. And after Uno see that, him couldn't carry, carry Uno over the line in the local government elections, Uno still want to keep him because him not really meet all him destinies them yet. Because his is a, his, his his destiny is going to be a certain kind of, I mean, what you call it, somewhat kind of a different level of um, hard destiny. I don't want to stay with him. I don't know, MP. That was against the, the removal. We're going to talk soon, come, come talk about it because the, the, the PM only can convince full of people in a local enclave when them ask, you know, who can say, listen, comrades, um, this thing here, so and so and so on, we have to keep the leader you now because if we do the Jamaica my Labour Party might just call an election and then the PMP in this array, I want to sell it to a few local people. Well, we're going to tell the wider comrades them across the country now and we're going to call on the name and tell them, say, who know, hold it back. Why? Mark Golden is not yet gone and the PMP have a good leader to carry us to victory. Well, I'll tell them because, you know, I'm gonna just really not get in this. And um, I'm not tired. I'm not. Well, the idea is I'm tired. I mean that in a general sense. I'm not tired. It's almost four years. But my fight is just. And even if there's nobody standing with me, my fight will go on. And you know what? We are going to be victorious. We are going to be victorious. Yes, we are. We are going to be victorious. The Jamaican people is going to see Mark Golden for what he is. And they are going to look at him and say, No, sir. Mm -mm. Nah. No, sir. And, mm -mm. Can't bother. No, 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 no. Better we go out with the man where we have already. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see him. So this doing vast thing. Don't get, don't get all caught up in no icy thing. I'm sure that is going to work out. But I think is a, is a soft touch, um, Machiavellian move. Peter Bunting, I see you over in South Manchester looking ridiculous, boy. You're demonstrating. You're looking like a shadow of yourself. Well, a shadow of yourself would look better than what you look like now. But um, you're still trying a thing, and you're not giving up. I you still don't know how to, how to, how to maneuver politics, and, and don't try to hurt people and, and tear down things. And, and you know, that's the only way you know. So carry on. Thank you all for listening to my rant. God bless you all. Stay safe, everybody, and please keep the children safe.